Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you all an amazing recipe for Seamoss Cheesecake. Yes, you heard that right. So think about eating that Seamoss sponge you usually drink. So to make this, we're gonna get started with our cream cheese and I'm using the Caribbean flavors concentrate. If you're using your own concentrate that you're boiling, please make sure that it's a very thick. So I'm going to empty and I'm actually using the entire bottle in this recipe. So I'm emptying that entire bottle into that um, cream cheese and then I'm adding in condensed milk. You can always adjust the condensed milk in the end to your sweetness level. In goes some clear vanilla. And I'm not adding any flavorings to the base itself. You'll see why in a little bit when we move on with the recipe. If you wanted to add a pinch of nutmeg or a pinch of cinnamon, you can, but don't overpower it. I went in with my immersion blender because the hand mixer wasn't doing the job that I wanted. You need it to be really smooth. So once it's nice and smooth, you're going to go ahead and empty it into your crust. And I'm using the store-bought crust here. Now I'm telling you guys, if you're making this, um, I suggest freezing it for it to set up because it is a very delicate and soft cheesecake. Or you can use agar agar or unflavored gelatin to set it so it's much firmer. You can also make these in very small individual portions. So like a single serve would be perfect. Now these go into my freezer to chill. You want it to set up until it's nice and firm, but don't leave it overnight. Next, in a bowl, add your heavy whipping cream, or in Trinidad, it's known as cooking cream. To that, I'm flavoring it with nutmeg and cinnamon powder. Now we're going to whisk this and whip it until it's nice and it starts to form firm peaks, but not all the way there. After which I'll go in with my powdered sugar or icing sugar and I'm not making it very sweet. So if you want it sweet, I would double up on the icing sugar. Next, this goes into a piping bag, but I'm just adding a little bit of more nutmeg there because I felt like the flavor of the nutmeg wasn't strong enough for me. So add, taste and adjust and then add it to your piping bag. And once you put it into your piping bag, all you have to do is go ahead and pipe it onto the cheesecake. Once the cheesecake is set, and all you'll have to do is cut and serve. Now you can refrigerate um, once you put that um, whipping cream on. And you'll notice when I'm taking it out here, You'll notice how delicate the cheesecake is, as I said. Hence the reason why I'm suggesting that you all use some agar agar if you want to keep it vegetarian or unflavored gelatin. It's going to set it up really beautifully. This was really delicious. The flavors that I put into the whipped cream really helped complement the cheesecake. So that's why I prefer to do it this way. But as I said, you can flavor the cheesecake base yourself if you would like to. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, comment and let me know down below if you try it. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!